What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to add reinforcement area or area reinforcement to our foundation wall. So we will be doing that to this wall here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the zero to floor. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom into this area here. So this is the wall that we are going to work on. And then let me select tile views here so I can also see the 3D view. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select this wall. And then after that, I'm going to select selection box. Okay, so let's click that one to isolate that wall. Okay, so now the next thing is I'm going to create a section here. So I'm going to select the section tool. And then I'm going to pick two points here. So making sure that the walls two walls to the right is being cut by the section and then after that i'll just click outside and then let's open up the section view by double clicking the section head there you go so there's now my section so let me just click this and then let me just adjust it like this okay Maybe I'll just drag it up to here. Okay, so now to create a reinforcement area or area reinforcement. So I'm going to select this wall here. So now it says uh, basic wall retaining 12 inches concrete. Right? Now to create our reinforcement area so from the reinforcement i'm going to select area so structural area reinforcement so it sketches the boundary of an area to populate with rebar okay so we are going to sketch the boundary of our area reinforcement so let's click this one and then after that here on my 3d view i'm going to select the wall so let's click that all right, so it's now selected. And then here on my draw panel, I'm going to select rectangle. Okay, I can actually use the line tool, but for this one, since this is just a rectangular shape, so I'm going to select rectangle. Let's click that one, and then I'm going to pick to this corner here. All right, and then I'm going to pick to this corner. That one. And then I'll select here modify. So let me check the right side view of my 3D just to make sure. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to drag that up there. All right. Okay, so that's now the shape of my area reinforcement. So you can actually change the major direction. You see this two short horizontal line so that is the direction the span direction of our uh, reinforcement bar so you can change that by selecting this tool here major rein, uh, major direction so you can click that one and then let's say you want the direction to be like this so you can click vertical that one all right, and then after that, so after you sketch your uh, rebar, your area reinforcement boundary, so you can now select finish. Just click that one, and then you can see that that is actually the symbol of your area reinforcement. Okay, and then I'll go to select modify to terminate the tool. So if you're going to zoom in here on our uh, section view, so you can see there's your reinforcement bars. Okay. And then let's change the scale here to quarter of an inch equals one foot. Okay. So I can see it here clearly. So those are my rebars there. Okay. So let's play around on the settings of our area reinforcement. So I'm going to select the area reinforcement. So let's click that one. And then after that, here on my instance properties. So let's modify the major direction. Okay, so I'm going to uncheck this one. 
and look what will happen here. So this uh, reinforcement rebar, it will disappear So because that's the major direction. So I'm going to uncheck that one and then I'll select apply and let's see what will happen. And as you can see, it disappears now here. So if you want to remove that one as well, so that is your minor direction or interior major. So this is the exterior, so that is the interior major direction. So you can uncheck that one if you want. So let's try that one. And then let's select apply. And as you can see, it disappears now. All right, so let's check again our interior major direction and exterior major direction and apply. There you go. So another thing that we are uh, that we can do here is we can also change the the number, the type of the rebar, the size of the rebar. So as you can see here, the exterior major bar type it says here number four, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change that to number six. So let's select that one, change that to six. So that's your exterior major bar type. Okay, so I'm going to modify the exterior minor bar type to 6 as well. Okay, so same with the interior major bar type. So let me change that to 6. So let's change the rebars. So let's change the size of the rebars and then number 6 and then apply. There you go. So it's now modified here. So if you want to change the number of uh, rebars, you can change that here on the layout rule. So as you can see, the layout rule here is set to a maximum spacing. So you can change that. So let's say I want a fixed number of rebars. So I can select that one. And then after that, I can change the exterior major number of lines. Okay, so let's say I'm going to make this uh, 50 right or this is major so i'm just going to change the minor so i'll just leave this like 26 so i'm going to change the exterior minor to uh, 50 and then the interior minor to 50 as well and then let's see what will happen so i apply there you go so it now increases your your interior minor number of your rebars okay so as you can see here in the 3d view you can't you can't see it by default right so what you can do is you can modify the view settings so to do that so it's either you can select your area reinforcement here on the section view or you can select it here in the 3d view okay so you want to see the rebars in the 3D view. So I'm going to select the area reinforcement, look for the properties again, and then let's look for view visibility states. So let's click edit. And then since you want to show the rebars in the 3D view, okay, so you look for that view name because this is the view name 3D. So that's that one. So you just need to check it. So view unobscured. So just check that one and then select OK. All right. And then here on our 3D view, still you can't see it. OK, so make sure you turn it on on the visibility graphic overrides. So where is that? So I'm going to click outside to deselect the area reinforcement and then look for visibility graphic overrides. Let's select here edit. And then let's check out the settings here. So I'm going to move the slider down on the model categories. So let's move the slider down and then let's look for structural rebar. So as you can see, structural rebar by default is unchecked. So I'm going to check that one to make it visible. And then I'll just select here, OK. And there you go. So it's now showing here on my 3D view. So if I'm going to select section box here just to show the whole model, there you go, okay? So this is that part that we have modified, all right? So that is your area reinforcement, 
Okay? So basically, that's how you create your area reinforcement. Alright? So hopefully, you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.